Okay, so Ray Robson's white against Jeffrey Shong. I don't think Jeffrey won a game. I think he had two losses and nine draws. Okay, and then they played a Petrov. This is one of the main lines. I used to have black in this position. My opponents usually took on D7 because I knew th theory 35 years ago. Mm -hmm. This is all theory too. And Ray Robson plays the aggressive way because he's Ray Robson. Black gets the two bishops and white has the Vatals. Okay, so white wants to play F5. And that's annoying. And you know annoying. You're married to me. So black played G6. And black said, I don't have a, you don't have a white squared bishop. And I have a white squared bishop. And Ray Robson said, no talking. If you were at a party mm -hmm. and people were drinking and smoking and stuff, and a lot of people were there. Yeah. And Ray Robson was there and Jeffrey Shong was there. Yeah. Who would talk more? Uh, Jeffrey. Go frankly subscribe. Thank you, frankly. I, I would have. I would have said Ray. Huh. Jeff, the, the, neither one talks very much. Jeffrey has a great personality. Mm -hmm. Ray seems always very quiet. A hype train is close. Let's get a hype train. Okay, so Ray played Knight C three, attacking the D five pawn and developing a piece. C six. Knight E two. The knight wants to go to D four or G three castles knight g3 what's white's next move going to be why do you play knight g3 um let me see Where are those guys from a few days ago who gave 50 subs and 100 subs and 1,000 subs? Where would those guys go? I'm not sure. Unless you want to put a queen there. Let me too. I don't really know. He wants to play F5. Oh, okay. That's why he played knight g3. Black played the best yeah, move, sense. bishop h4. So now if you play f5, I can take the knight, and you're not protecting f5 enough. Okay, so he played bishop c5, attacking the rook. The rook went to e8. And now he played sacrifice, because he's Ray Robson. He likes to attack. f5. Okay, and Jeffrey played the best move. Rook takes e5, winning a pawn. fg6. Do you think black should take with the H pawn or the F pawn? One of them is about equal and the other one is losing. It's all tactics. Um. Go hype train. We need 100 bits to get the train started or a sub or something. Yeah, I guess you have to take with the H pawn. Right. What if you take with the F pawn? Because it rook F8. Correct. So you took with yeah. the H pawn. Okay, then bishop D4. The engine says they're playing great. I was worried about this too, though, because of that and H8 it, square. The queen could get over there. Maybe. In this position, he made the losing move. Okay, the only move is, is well, not the losing move. Actually, his move's okay. Rook E6 is the safest move, that it's equal. He played rook e8, and this move actually doesn't win, but it, it wins in practice, but not against that engine. And in this position, Ray said, you will know my name is the Lord. Black has the two bishops and an extra pawn. How could he lose? 
So what brilliant move did Ray Robinson play? Yeah, I'm going to look at it. Let me see. No, we didn't have a hype train. Boo, boo. You guys have one job to do. Sure, maybe rook f4. Rook f4 is actually a good move. But the move that's brilliant, yeah. that the, you will know his name is the Lord, is rook takes f7. I was looking at that, mm -hmm. but I couldn't make anything out of right. it. Right. Now, if the people in the chat played rook takes f7, here's what their analysis would be. Mm -hmm. King takes f7, rook f1 check, I have an attack. That would be their analysis. Ray Robson, he plays rook f7, he analyzed 20 variations, 20 moves long. So he analyzed everything. And this is not winning, but Jeffrey has to walk the tightrope to draw, but he couldn't do it. Because you have to take. Rook F1 check. And now King E6 and King E7 both draw. He played King E7. Queen takes G6. So now White's threatening Rook F7 checkmate. And probably White has other threats, but that's good enough. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And Black has one move, and he didn't play it. He made a losing move. He has one move that doesn't lose. The reason his move loses is Ray Robson sacks all his pieces. So that's it's understandable that he blundered. The only move that draws is King D7, running away. And then the engine gives all kinds of checks and says it's all a draw. It's all perpetual check. Okay, Jeffrey played Bishop E6, losing the game. Now, the funny thing is, if white doesn't win the game, white's losing. White has a force to win, but if white doesn't play it, then he's lost because he's down a rook. Okay, so queen g7 check. Obviously, bishop f7 is ridiculous because there's a rook here. So king d6. Bishop e5 check. This is the kind of thing like I say things are easy for me to analyze. This is easy for Ray to analyze because mm -hmm. it's one legal move and... King there, bishop d4 check, king has to go to d6, bishop b5 check, always repeat, because he wants to have time on the clock, bishop c7, that's the crushing move, and that's a clearance move, it clears this diagonal for white's queen, so you're threatening the queen, and more importantly, you're threatening queen c3 check, which is going to lead to mate, bishop f6, that's the engine move, Rook takes f6. Now the queen can't go to c3. That's why Jeffrey did that. Rook g8. Now white only has one way to win. Like if this was like uh, one of those puzzles we do, which we usually do tonight, uh -huh. this would be rated like 3,700. And Ray solved it in a tournament game. All right. Do you want me to Yeah, try to figure out the way white wins. Okay. It's not surprising without calculating that black would be in trouble with his king on c5. Rook takes e6 is double question mark. Very good. So you're right.
this is right. I'm not sure unless you get that knight involved. Uh huh. Ninety four. Uh huh. Right, and the idea, which didn't happen, mm -hmm. is if you take it. Yeah. Now this this is open, so I can sacrifice my rook. That's what I was looking at. Right, so I can play queen c three. Yeah. Right, and then queen c three. I saw all that, but and I wasn't sure what would happen. If king d five, I have this mate. Yeah. And now I have one mate and one, one. One mate and one. And I have a mate and three also, but I have one mate and one. Let's see. Queen a5. Queen a5. And then if you play king b5 instead, then I play a4 check. If king here, then mate. And if king takes pawn, then queen b3 mate. So what happens if when you check with the knight, if he just steps towards the knight, then... He he did move his king. Oh, okay. okay you want to go here? Yeah, that's what I was okay, trying to figure out. Lining up on the bubble up. Yeah, that's true. Okay, then it says plus 10 for white. So now it says mate in 17. It says queen h6 is mate, and c3 is also winning. Yeah, I was looking at c3. Mm -hmm. Yay. I did pretty good Okay, so that. he played king b5. And then Ray played a4 check, which is correct. Mm -hmm. King b4 is correct. And then white played the best move, queen h6. Now, queen h6 stops you from taking my queen. I'm threatening your queen, mm -hmm. and queen d2 is going to be mate. So here he resigned. But let's say he didn't resign. Let's take the bishop. Okay, now I have mate in 13. Check. King takes pawn. Knight c3 check. Knight takes d5 check. Knight takes c7 check. Probably that's enough analysis for Jeffrey lost his queen. Mm -hmm. But you can't play king here because queen b4 is a mate. Well, actually, after, after this, you just lose your queen. So you can't, yeah, you can't, you can't play king takes a4, but you can't play king c4 because this is mate and this is mate. Oh, so that was easy to calculate because this wins the queen at the c to mate. Once he sees this, he can resign. Yeah. Seeing to mate, not necessary. So after queen h6, uh, Jeffrey resigned here. The engine says the best thing black can do is take, 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 and be down a queen for a rook. This is best play for black. Not good. So very nice game from Ray Robson. Yeah, that's a great and, game. And Ray finished really well. Ray was winning the games at the end of the tournament. So it makes him a lot more money. What was his place? Like tied for fourth or fifth. Or like tied for fifth, I think, because uh, <clears throat> this will surprise you. So you'll have to you have to decide. Okay. And I sent you the standings. I saw that. Yeah, so it shouldn't surprise you. I Dominguez and So tied for second. Yeah. Which that's not surprising. Who tied with them for second? That was the surprising part. Um Well it wasn't Hans because he was a little bit further. It wasn't down. Hans. Yeah. Uh Shanklin was fighting for last place, not Shanklin. <laughs> You guys thought Shanklin tied for second? Shanklin came in like 11th. I can't remember. Who was I'm it? making fun of Shanklin my whole life, and you thought he tied for second? Oh, my God. Abhi Mishra. Okay. The little kid. I know who he is. Shanklin? Jesus Christ. You played him. Jesus. I've played all those people, except uh, Dominguez and Wesley. <laughs> 